Yeah. Hey, Black Rain. Hey, Black Rain. Uh, lean, lean, that stick don't stop. Black Rain, skill time, cause the gun won't pop. Mass paint, stop once and your man gon' stop. Black Rain, stop twice and they all gon' flop. Tryna play for a dub, but I don't even need it. You catch on me 50, you sounded conceited. I still done so bad that he think that I cheated. You said you was pro when I win, you deleted. My diamonds, they rain on me, I'm undefeated. The top of 100, I don't even read it. My rank, you won't beat it, don't make me repeat it. RGA, the squad, man, don't get them boys either. Alright, so yesterday we was on next gen and I told and I made you guys look at the leaderboard. I said look at this leaderboard and tell me if you can distinguish who's good and who's not on this leaderboard. And you guys was like, you know what, Rain? It's not fair. The red leaderboard is just for the casuals. Um and yada yada yada. But there should be somebody you can tell me. Like multiple people that you can tell me and be like, yo, I can look at his record and say, okay, that guy's different. That guy's good. That guy's a little bit higher than the rest of them. There was one guy on the leaderboard to where I was like, okay, this guy is a little bit better than the rest of them. Like one guy outstood just a little bit by his record. Then everybody's record was pretty much the same. So I'm going to go down this leaderboard and show you how you can distinguish. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on PlayStation 5, Rig leaderboard, you cannot find me somebody where you can say this guy right here, just based on the leaderboard, this guy's better than that guy, pretty much. Now, well, if I ask a question like who on this leader, like who runs the rigs, who runs the leaderboard, pretty much, not based on rank, I'm talking about based on like everybody know, everybody can sit here and say who's good and who's not good. Like, for an example, this guy's a glitcher, we can't put him up there. So, this guy's record, real record, terrible. This guy's a glitcher. This guy's record, real record, terrible. This guy, real record, terrible. This guy, real record. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can look at him and say, okay, this guy can play. This guy, real deal record. Real record. So now, based on these right here, I'm looking at these two guys and say, okay, these guys can play. But this guy can definitely fucking play. Scores 25 points a game, gives up seven. I know this guy, no regretting. I definitely know this guy 100%. I know this is a real record. So let's keep going. This guy, terrible. This guy, terrible. This guy, terrible. This guy, terrible. You know what I'm saying? And then you get right here. This guy's a glitcher as well. I know this guy as well. This guy's a glitcher. Scores eight points a game, give up seven. Not real if you're winning this many games and losing that many games. Cool. This guy right here. He scored 17 points a game, give up nine. His record is better than some of these guys' record. Like this guy right here. This guy's record is better. So let's keep on going. Terrible, terrible, terrible. You know what I'm saying? And then you get to this guy. Boom. This guy can play. This guy can play, score 22 points a game, give up 15. Let's keep on going. Bam. Humble one. This guy can play. You know what I'm saying? This guy's in a different level than the other guys. Scores 26, gives up 13. Can play. You know what I'm saying? So if we keep on going down the list, then you see the wins and losses are looking pretty much the same. And how you can tell who's a little bit different is you look at the wins and losses and you know what I'm saying? Things like that. Bam. This guy can play a little bit. Bam. This guy can play a little bit. And then we go down, bam, this guy can play a little bit. Bam, this guy can play a little bit. Score 23 points, game gives up 16. You know what I'm saying? That's how you can distinguish who's good and who's not. On the PS5 next-gen leaderboard, you can't find nobody like there was a one, like literally probably one person. But when you come to the red leaderboard, there's a skill gap. And this right here literally shows that there's a skill gap. There's a guy like this on the leaderboard. So he's definitely at a higher skill level than a lot of these players. You know what I'm saying? Then you look at my record. You look at my record. Now, the majority of my losses are disconnection losses. So let's go down and see. I haven't played on this account in so long, but let's go and see. Last time I lost and who I played again. Uh, servers are not going to show. But I got two real losses on this account. 
two real losses. The rest of them are freeze losses. So, you know what I'm saying? There's definitely a skill gap on current gen, if you ask me. That's just that's just if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? Now you can't go to the the, the, the next gen leaderboard and find that. There you there, there was no difference. I couldn't find. I could not look at records and say that guy's better than that guy. Now, based on the leaderboard, you're not just gonna just load up. You, you, you're not just gonna just you know what I'm saying. You ain't finna just load up and come and play no regret and, and destroy him. It's just not happening. You're not gonna just load up and just beat why I'm uh YT OMG Sean. You know what I'm saying? He's winning way more than the majority of his games. You know what I'm saying? You're not finna just load up and beat uh Greg Gooden. You're not finna just load up and beat Humble One TV. You know what I'm saying? There's a there's now there's a there's a skill gap. There's a difference. There's a <clears throat> I'm up here. There's a couple people down here, and then the majority of people right here. But the people that are, you know, what I'm saying, separate themselves is how you can tell where the skill gap is. Um, current gen, I want to rock out with Seattle. Seattle got everything you pretty much need. Um, as far as receivers, you got 93, 95, 96, 92. Excuse me. So what I like to do on current gen is um, let's see. It's it's pretty much about speed over here. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much about speed, and these guys definitely got the speed. So you can put Josh Jones, and then you can go uh, Joey Blunt, and then you can go hmm. Let's see. Let's see, you can go Trey Brown with um, Ryan Neal. You can actually go Jamal Adams here. And then corners, you're gonna go Dunn. And then right here, I'm gonna go Tariq Woolen, which means my second corner is gonna be. Um, Mike Jackson. And then my user right here would probably be maybe Sidney Jones. Just gotta make sure everybody's okay, yeah. Probably Sidney Jones. Bam. That's my user. That's how I like to set up my uh my team third down back 93 speed 93 speed slot receiver um Tyler Lockett rushing off this edge you got 90 speed and then rushing off this edge you got 87 speed Jordan Brooks you know what I'm saying so that's how I set up this team now when you're comparing current gen to next gen, I feel like there is no debate about real life and not real life. Honestly, they're both video games and they both got some real life things to them. And they both got some things that's just not real life. So I like to use Jacksonville playbook when I got four fast receivers. Don't like to leave out no receivers and I'll show you why. Um, four fast receivers and then we're gonna go we're gonna go multiple defense, multiple defense. So I got score. I think I might have looked at this leaderboard. Now I, I did see this name on the leaderboard. Not sure if he was a glitcher or not. Not exactly sure. Um, but okay, when you get into the difference of current gen and next gen, um, this is gonna be a, a, a straight current gen talk. You know what I'm saying? I talked next gen on the video yesterday. Let's talk. Let's talk a little bit of current gen. So, a lot of people don't like it because there's a lot of glitching going on. It's definitely easier to glitch over here than next gen. But hear me out, there is glitching on next gen. So I like to be on trio offset with four fast receivers. I like to change it down here to four receivers. So I like this because you still got your um, level sale and you still got your uh, PA post shot. You still got your PA crosser right there. So that's why I like this right here. 
We got four receivers out there. Pretty much do whatever I want out of this. Low ball. Now, a lot of people don't like it because of the movement. You know what I'm saying? The the. If you ask me, if you ask me, the movement is smoother. You know what I'm saying? On on current, I mean on next gen, they don't run routes real smooth. I feel like on here the routes are ran smooth. Now people don't like um, people don't like current gen because it's too consistent. It's too consistent. If I'm cooking you all game, you have no chance to beat me. I'm just gonna continue to cook you all game. Um, people don't like it because they say. The crosser, you know what I'm saying? Some of your zones don't react to the crosser. Um, people don't like it because um, everybody runs routes the same, which is not true. You know what I'm saying? Your guys with your route tech and things like that are obviously going to run routes smoother. We didn't, Oh, we, get it, get our, we did get our feet down. Cool. Um... I'm going to show you one thing that, you know what I'm saying? Now, hear me out. It's a video game. You know what I'm saying? It's a video game. And it's obviously meant to be different than next gen. It obviously is. Why would they sit here and sell two of the same games? You know what I'm saying? There's no need for them to sell two of the same games. So, they obviously made it different so that the people that like one, you know what I'm saying, way of playing can play that way. And the people that like the other way of playing can play that way. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's definitely more to it than just it's definitely more to it than just oh they got this over there we can't play like that. It's it's more than just oh I don't I can't afford the next gen or I don't have the next gen because it's it's you can definitely get next gen if you want it. There's there's systems out here you can find a way to get a next gen. So but a lot of people don't want next gen because they don't like the gameplay of it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like current gen because of just the gameplay of it you know what i'm saying so just depends on what you like and what you enjoy man if you ask me um i like this better because i can control my user better i can control you know what i'm saying i can i can actually control what i'm doing in the game now current uh, next gen you can control your user you know what i'm saying but it's not as much control it's it's tough. People don't like current gen because you can use it the whole field. You know what I'm saying? With 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 your user. And I feel like that's the video game part of it. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what you want in a video game. I feel like you should be able to want to control your user as much as you, you want. You should have free range with your user. It's it's your user. You know what I'm saying? It's you using it. A lot of people don't like current gym because of the falling forward. There's a lot of that on here. There's a lot of just straight up run the ball. You get stopped in the backfield. They push you forward five, six yards. A lot of people don't like that. Um, I can agree with that. I don't like that either. They should definitely fix that. That's just something they haven't fixed um, between this year and last year. Now, I thought when the game first came out, it was good. But then after that, it kind of got, they patched it, and I don't know what they did with the patch, but they made it bad. So what a lot of people will do, as you're seeing right now, a lot of people will just run the ball every single play just because the running is so OP. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't even thought about passing the ball. And what I've been sitting here doing is setting up pass adjustments. So we finna get into some, some uh, we finna get into some some run stops, and I should have got I got a multiple D. I should have got in four six defense because it has a big nickel. But uh, we'll get into some run stops here in a minute um, to slow down this running attack. But there is no there is no like if you ask me, there is no skill in just straight up just running the ball. That's me personally, but. Once, it's, once again, it's a video game. Now, there's only two things you can do in this game. That's run or pass. You know what I'm saying? And whichever one you feel more comfortable doing is what you should do. But the running is definitely more OP in current gen. That's why I feel like you'll see more runners in current gen. Now, over on next gen, you have to have some kind of balance. On current gen, you don't have to have balance at all. You can run the ball all game. 
or you can pass the ball all game and you'll be good to go. But on um, this can't be man to man. But on current gen, you can it's pretty much free range to do whatever you want to do. Throw that away. Don't really like that. It was a bad route combination just because I thought it was man to man for a second, but I see it was cover two, so we'll get some cover two routes out there. But the talk of yo, bro, that's not realistic. You, we can't, we can't, we can't keep comparing. Uh, uh, we can't keep comparing video games to realistic or not. That's cover two, outside ball, perfect. People don't like that you can do this. You can wiggle. But what I like to compare it to is um, is Call of Duty and Fortnite. If you think, or, or Fortnite and PUBG, when PUBG was popping, people was comparing it. Man, Fortnite's fake. When somebody shoots at you in real life, you can't throw up a wall and build. It's a video game. You know what I'm saying? It's a video game. But people like the people like the more animated version. Which was, which was Fortnite because you can do more in Fortnite. It's more to it than just in PUBG. It was just shoot. That's it. Just shoot. And in Fortnite, you had to have more strategy. You had to know how to build and things like that. And people didn't want to learn how to build, so they were like, "Fuck this! I'm not playing this. This shit's too. This shit's too hard. We're not finna. I'm, I'm not finna play this shit." I don't know how to build. I can't do all that glitchy shit. That shit's dumb. You know what I'm saying? So people didn't really, people didn't really like Fortnite. So I feel like when it comes to a video game, I'm playing over top coverage right here because I think he's about to pass the ball. It's definitely gonna run. He took it on his offensive lineman. I just ran commit. I'm running commit. I'm run committing. He hasn't passed ball all game. Perfect. You know what I'm saying? So, whenever you're clicking on your offensive alignment, you cannot, and you're trying to motion somebody over, if you're passing the ball, you will see that you cannot click on your offensive line. But when you're running the ball, you can click on your offensive line. So, that's a dead giveaway if it's run or pass. Dead giveaway. So, but like I was saying, man, people... And now, and now Fortnite has the no build option because why they want to make it more kid friendly. They want to make it more friendly so people. This is definitely a pass. We're gonna get out of this and set up straight pass defense. But they have a mode now where there's a no build mode for the people that just want to just come out there and just straight up shoot. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to build. They don't want to build. You know what I'm saying? So they so Fortnite actually made a game mode for those type of people. Just so that more people can relate to the game. Just so that more people can relate. And great fucking defense. I thought it was gonna run an out route right there, but that was a that was a great route combination. We just got a we just got a knockdown. But I feel like the games nowadays are making it to where games nowadays are making it to where everybody can relate to the game. Everybody can everybody can relate to the game without everybody feeling left out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's just if you ask me. This scene should be open. Oh, great defense. We got to catch that. Thank you. Great. D we got to catch that. We got an easy stop, too. We got to capitalize better than that on that drive. All right, now it's back to stopping the run. Now it's back to... Mm, good hit. Now it's back to stopping the run. I'm pass committing. Great job. You know what I'm saying? So, if this guy was switching it up a little bit, play action pass and shit like that, he would be a lot better. But, there you go. But his play action is 
I don't know why I went to try to guard. He, he had an extra offensive lineman in the game. And I don't know why I went to guard that corner route. I don't know why I went to guard that corner route, but I did. Great run stop. Head over to your App Store or Google Play and download the best way to play fantasy, prize picks. Use code RAIN4 to get a 100% discount code up to $100. It's pretty simple. Pick two or more players from the board, choose over or under their projected stat line for the day, and choose which way you want to profit. With Flex Play, you can miss one and still win, or you can go big with the power play to win more. Prize Picks offers every sport you can think of from NBA to NFL to even college sports as well. Prize Picks has a ton of stats to choose from, including three pointers made, rebounds, assists, even the touchdowns, RBIs, and home runs. Prize Picks also allows mixed sports entries. Like you can take the over on LeBron's points and the under on Mahomes' touchdowns on the same entry. There's also many celebrities who use and partner with Prize Picks, including Famous Los, Matt Ryan, John Collins, and many more. In 2021, Prize Picks had 300,000 new members and paid out over $130 million in prizes. With the easy withdrawal system, Prize Picks is the best legal way to play player props. Once again, go to your App Store or Google Play and download Prize Picks. And don't forget to use code RAIN4 for a 100% deposit match up to $100. Perfect. Love it. Now what? And that's on me. Why? Because I got Sidney Jones over there at the corner when I should have <sighs> Tariq Woolen over there. That is crazy. That wouldn't have even been close to catchable. Now, another re another thing people don't like about this is the field goal block glitch. And I'm going to show it to you right now. You get on this guy right here, and you come off the edge, and you block the field goal. People don't like that. Now, if we're comparing to real life, which I don't like to do no more, you know what I'm saying? This shit is definitely not real life. Um, neither version of the game is real life. Next gen or current gen, neither of those are real life. Let's just be honest. Let's just go ahead and put it out there. We cannot keep comparing these to real life. I used to get on, I used to say something to Luke about this. Luke would throw the ball right at a linebacker. And, and uh, we, we played one day and I threw the ball, or Luke threw the ball right at a linebacker, and <coughs> excuse me, and my linebacker dropped it. He said, and I said, bro, come on now, let's keep it G. I should have, I should have caught that pick. He said, bro, that's a linebacker. He's not gonna catch that. He's not gonna animate. I said, Luke. I said, Luke. No disrespect, but hear me out. This is a guy who's in the NFL, who as a linebacker who has caught multiple picks throughout his career who's been doing this shit since fucking Little League oh he second guessed himself and we still didn't catch it he doing this shit since Little League you mean to tell me a, a ball right in his face is not gonna catch it he said bro this isn't this isn't uh, he said bro this isn't real life this is a video game they don't animate on here so when he told me that I said cool we just can't catch. Wow. We just can't catch. When he told me that, I said, cool beans, bro. I said, I see what's going on here. Can't compare this shit to real life. Like that linebacker right there. First of all, that was a bad ball by Geno Smith. I want a fucking out route. At the fucking pile lines. I want an out route. Didn't throw the out route. Cool. But the linebacker right there should have picked that off. But once again, like you say, this is a linebacker. Not going to pick that off. Um, But we can't keep comparing this to real life because it's not real life. Finally, I got a receiver that can... Finally, I got a receiver that can catch the ball and can't be tackled. Finally. Finally got a receiver that can catch. Now, the quarterback play on current gen is much better than the quarterback play on next gen. We have 68 overall Geno Smith out here throwing lasers. And people will say, you know what I'm saying? That's bullshit. 
on next gen, these guys aren't throwing that good. But hear me out. These guys are in the NFL. If you guys watch Geno Smith versus who was that week one? The Broncos. Boy went crazy versus the Broncos. And I mean delivering absolute dots. Absolute dots. You mean to tell me just because he has a low overall, he can't pass the ball? He's an NFL, he's an NFL quarterback. Why would he not be able to pass the ball? But on on next gen, and let's keep it real, on next gen, you have to have a good quarterback to pass the ball good consistently. Now, on current gen, they miss passes. You've seen Geno Smith miss that out route. You've seen Geno Smith miss the out route. You know what I'm saying? So, it's not like every throw is a great throw over here. It's not. But, just because I don't have a good quarterback don't mean I got to throw inaccurate every single time. And I feel like on next gen, if you do not have a good quarterback, you're going to throw inaccurate a lot of times. A lot of times. But they'll say, yo, bro, that's real life. Yo, bro, that's real life. These these quarterbacks. They'll say, yo, bro, this is real life. These quarterbacks, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they can't throw that good in real life. And here we go again. You can't compare it to real life. This is a video game. If I have a quarterback, now here my quarterback, my quarterback is in the NFL. My quarterback is in the NFL. He's a starting quarterback. Why can't he throw? Why why should he not be able to throw good? That so, so the analogy of oh it's not real life. These guys are, are terrible in real life. That makes no sense to me. I'm pass committing right now. That's why he's getting all these easy runs. And I'm just wondering why he's running the ball with. Why he's running the ball with 16, 15 seconds left. Just makes no sense to me. But this is just how some people play, man. This is this is some people's best strategy. This is their best way of winning. So. I mean, and at this point, I'm not really caring about having great run defense. He got to score a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? He got to score. Okay. All right. He's, he's this close from breaking a touchdown. It's just because I keep pass committing. I'm worried about him passing the ball. But right here, we're not going to pass commit. We're going to play solid defense. No pass commit. We gave up, what, three yards? Three yards. Opposed to giving up 10 yards. So another thing I said in yesterday's video is somebody will come over here. I'm going to block it, bro. Come on. Now, next gen, this is this is an easy field goal. But not on current gen. It's not so easy on current gen. Now, me blocking this field goal isn't guaranteed. It isn't guaranteed, but I've pretty much mastered it at this point. You know what I'm saying? And when you play versus somebody who blocks field goal, it's not smart to kick your field goal. You know what I'm saying? It's just not smart. And this is something in the game they should fix. This is something. This is the reason why people don't like current gen. Um, I definitely understand it, man. It's it's a strategy that I like to use because people use the same strategy on me. If I now, if you don't, you can't get mad at me for blocking your field goal just because you don't know how to block field goals. It's on the game. You should learn how to do it. Now, this is in game. This is in game. Now, when it comes to freeze glitching. You should that that's not that's not an in-game tactic. That's not a strategy. That's a fucking I'm a bozo. I bought I paid a hundred dollars for this game for no reason. I paid a hundred dollars for this game just so I can get on here and freeze glitch people and go to work and come back with a win. You get you, you get nothing for that. You you get nothing for that. You know what I'm saying? So um when I play versus people that do know how to block field goals, it's always a GG. Always a tough game because we know we ain't kicking no field goals. We know fourth and three. I need, you know what I'm saying? I gotta find a way to score. And that's what makes it hard about the game. You know what I'm saying? So it's a different strategy over here than next gen. Um But once again, I don't like to compare real life. I've 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 stopped trying to compare real life because I've come to notice that it's just not real life. And um, but in real life, you do see field goals missed 
you do see people blocking field goals. Let's just be honest. You do see field goals missed, and you do see people blocking field goals. So I think it's fair if you come over here and get your field goal blocked. Now, as far as Wow, Jamal Adams just got dunked on. Now, there is a way, you know what I'm saying, they got the game to design to where you're supposed to be able to block field goals a certain way. Jamal is just getting fried. But people have found a way to block field goals another way. So, I mean... I miss. I gotta be missing something. Jamal Adams can't guard a tight end. A star. A star safety can't guard a tight end man to man. That's just. That's just for real disrespectful to me. Come on. <clears throat> Great hit. I'm on that. I see you. I see you. So we obviously see there's a skill gap over here, um, just based off records. And when you look at it based off records, and you see, you know, I win the majority of my games. When you see me win the majority of my games, and now hear me out, it's it's I'm putting out the content. So you guys can watch, you know, so you guys can actually watch. And when you guys see me win the majority of the time, what do you guys say? Man, there is no comp over there because I'm winning the majority of my games. But whenever I'm at the top, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to when I'm okay. When I'm at the top as far as the skill gap level, there's not many people that's gonna beat me. So it gets confusing when people say there's no comp on current gen. How is there? I am the comp. You feel me? I am the comp. That's a perk of having a 93 speed tight end right there. That's a perk of having a 93 speed tight end. Now, as far as blocking, that wouldn't be good to have, but as far as passing, Great ball, Gino. Great ball. Now, if any other, if, if, if any of those other people was to be a YouTuber that had one of those pretty even records, 300 wins and 295 losses, something like that, and they was a YouTuber, and you see them on here competing every single game, you know what I'm saying, having dog fights every single game, you guys would say, oh shit. Here's the comp. This is where the comp is. But you guys think all the comp is on is on next gen because every single game is a dog fight. We're getting beat? Come on. He just said I can do that. But you guys think all the comp is on next gen because every single game is a dog fight. I feel like every single game is a dog fight because the skill level is there is no skill gap. So every single person is going to seem good to y'all. So whenever you get into a game and every single person gives you a hell game, you like, whoo. Every single game you get done, you sweating. Fuck. Everybody's good. What the hell is going on? But if you think about it, everybody should not be good. There's going to, there, there has to be a skill gap somewhere. There has to be. But if you look at that leaderboard over there on next gen, you can't look at it and tell. You just you just can't. But if you ask me, there's comp on both systems. Um you just gotta you just gotta distinguish who's good and who's not good. And it's harder to distinguish that on it's harder to distinguish that on on next gen. It's harder to figure out. I play people. I've had hell games. And then afterwards, I look at their record, and they're 16 and 16. 
And I'm like, all right, what the fuck? Then I played somebody who was not good. And I looked at the record. And I can't even say it was good. I can't even say it was good. It was like 88 and 43, which is decent, but it's still not good. It's a run. I just seen him click on his right tackle. So we just ran commit. Now, one thing I would love to talk about in these Maddens. Run commit does not work. That's something that, that's never worked. So, for an example. Block your field goal again, buddy. I don't know why you don't want to go for two, but... And, and I just missed. You know what I'm saying? You can't. I don't block all the time, but I do a lot of the times. Um, but hear me out. So run commit and pass commit. If I pass commit and you're passing the ball, I play great pass defense. If I run commit when you're running the ball, it's not good run defense. Which is I don't understand because they penalize you if you get it wrong. So if I pass commit and you run the ball, I get weak boxed or I get pancaked or it's a 20, 30 yard run. If I run commit, if I run commit, if I run commit while you're passing, it's a touchdown. But whenever it sucked because it sucked because whenever I have to guess it right. There's three things I can guess. Runner first thing is two games I can guess. Run or pass. I guess run. That's a hundred percent right. I'm 100% right. Then I guess, and then I guess, I got to guess middle, left, or right. I guess middle, you run middle. I am 200% correct. Why can I stop the run? That's the question. Ooh. Let's keep it. No, no, no. Go back. Perfect. I like this right here. Post down the middle should be open. Man, bad read. Bad read. Probably should have threw my the corner out. That was a bad read. Let's try it like this. There we go. There we go. Corner out is open. There we go. But the run commit hasn't hasn't been good on Madden in so long. And what they tried to do, <laughs> what they tried to do was put uh, like run stopping abilities on people. I think they had like run committed on a certain D lineman at one point. Like if you run commit and you guess it correctly, this guy will make the tackle in the backfield or this guy will react to the ball better. And I was like, why not just fix your run commit? Um, Metcalf should be open up the seam. Well, actually, he's open up the seam. It's cover two. But I like current gym because it's it's predictable. You know what I'm saying? I said this in the video yesterday. I like current gym because it's predictable. I can predict, you know what I'm saying? I, I can predict what, I ain't going to say what coverage is, but I can, I know for a fact, if your safe is in a deep half, he's going to play a deep half every single time. He's going to play it the same way every single time. If your guy's in the purple, he's going to play the purple every single time. He's going to play it the same way every single time. I know if you're in the deep fourth, he's going to play deep fourth every single time. The way he plays it every single time. You know what I'm saying? That's the way they got this game built. On next gen, they got it built to where if you play a purple like this one time, you may not play a purple like that ever again. You know what I'm saying? You might play a five yard this play, ten yard next play, 
30 yards next play. It's a run. He's on this offensive lineman. I just ran commit for what reason? I don't know. Just seeing run commit didn't work. Better off playing regular defense. But I like the consistency on current gen. Just like I said, if you load up against somebody on current gen and, you know what I'm saying, the game is going smooth, it's going to continue to go smooth. Madden's not going to just help you out. Madden's not going to say, okay, you're blowing this dude out. You're destroying this dude. Let's let's change the momentum of this game. Let, let's switch it up a little bit. Madden's not doing that. Madden's not jumping in the way. Madden's going to make you grind for it. And, you know what I'm saying, Madden's going to make you work for your win. Madden's not going to just switch up mid-game. There is no momentum bar. The momentum is the momentum that you got personally. That's your momentum. That's your momentum. The momentum you got personally. There is no bar that that whenever you're down seven points, you can't you you can't change your routes on your guys. Um, the dude can be beating you by seven points on next gen, and half you hike the ball, and your and your um, icon for your player goes away. You don't know what icon he is, or you sitting there trying to you sitting there trying to you know what I'm saying. Change his adjustment and you can't change it because he can't hear you because the momentum of the crowd is just so loud that he don't know what's going on. That was the number four play in the world. Um, obviously, obviously you can't go off of rank. That's why when people try to tell me, yo, bro, I'm ranked this in the world. I'm ranked that in the world. I don't listen to rank. I listen, I listen to record. And that's why I'm glad they got the records up here now so you can actually see people's records. Back back in the back in Madden 21, I think about Madden, yeah Madden 21, people was just tell you, bro, this is, I'm ranked number one or two, I'm ranked number three or number four, and these and this be their record. So you're sitting there looking at these guys like, damn, bro, you ranked number three in the world, you must be pretty good. And you look at this record and say, that's oh, you're ranked up there because of the amount of wins you got. Oh, okay, but you also have the same amount of losses. So you're ranked up here because you play more than everybody else. Because if you look at the leaderboard, this guy right here definitely should be number one. And it's not even close. Like, not even close. But on the rig leaderboard, they reward you for the amount of wins you got, the amount of games you've played, things like that, which is. And it's not even about the win. It's not even the amount of wins you got because um, it's not even about the amount of wins because this guy right here got more wins than this guy right here. But it's about ranking points. Not and nobody knows how these fucking ranking points work. It's it's dumb. But um, that's my comparison to current gen, next gen. Um, just play whatever you feel like playing, man. Play whatever is best for you. Hey, Blair Wayne. Oh, yeah. Huh. Alright, let's do this. For daily sticky uploads, follow me at YT Black Rain 4 on TikTok. For hoodies and t-shirts, click the link down below in the description. Black Rain's bin. That's where you get all your gear at. For funny stories and motivational stories, follow me on Snapchat at Black Rain 4. And for the latest news on everything, follow me on Instagram at Black Rain 4. And last but not least, if you want to play anybody in Rain Gang, look down below in the description. All the information is down there that you need. You dig. You dig, you dig, you dig.